Hey friends, welcome to Chemistry Lover and in this video I will be talking about a very important question from gate exam. I forgot the exact year in which this question came but the question is this, uh, this enamine is given and it is reacted with uh, this chloroform in presence of sodium hydroxide so what will be the product. Now when, when you treat chloroform we any base like sodium hydroxide or any other base so that base will first deprotonate from here to give you this trichloromethane and this anion uh, trichloromethyl anion and now one chloride goes and you will have this CCL2 this radical right now you know that when you react this uh, CCL2 radical, this dichlorocarbon radical with phenol, what you get? You get this aldehyde. So, one aldehyde group generates over here with this reaction. So, this is a very famous name reaction, the Reimer Thieman reaction. And if you compare this compound with this, you can see the reaction occurs like this. So from here the attack occurs and here also the same possibility is there that it can attack to give you this. Okay, so first you will have this. Right, and so when you first look into this question, the first answer which will come to your mind is automatically this one because we are taught so in the second step so this first step in the second step they give this hydrolysis condition this is what the so this question uh, this will be the answer you will think because this Reimer Timan reaction is so common and it is just uh, stuck to our mind that uh, when we treat, uh, treat uh, this uh, dichlorocarbon with uh, phenol we get this aldehyde so the same logic applies here and you will get this but here you will do the mistake because this is not the product and uh, the interesting part is that in the options this was also given so the four options which were there this was one of the options so there is a very high possibility that you will do the mistake right so the actual answer is this and at first sight it may be confusing to you that how this product will be formed from here but I will discuss this in this uh, video that how you can get this product from here. Now before that let us first uh, revise the concept of reimer Timan reaction in very short. Okay. So what happens in reimer Timan reaction is so the first attack as I told you is from the ortho position to give you this right so here you have negative charge two chloride here and this so the next thing what will happen is so this will go and it get back its aromaticity to give you this O minus and then uh, somehow this position is protonated to give you this right so then this O minus again push it will uh, this one will go here and this chloride will go to give you this CL here hydrogen like this and now this OH minus because you are doing the reaction in uh, basic medium so this OH minus will attack here and eventually what you will get so you will basically get this here O minus again it get back its aromaticity and here you have this Cl this hydrogen and this OH so then this OH will be deprotonated it will go here this chloride will go and you will get this product right so this is how the Reimer Timan reaction goes now in this case also this will form and if uh, 
the same reaction has to happen here this reaction uh, should occur to run this reaction in the same way like this and then regular protonation like this so then uh, this reaction can further proceed so this atom will go here and the reaction will go further to, to give you this aldehyde but we have seen that uh, we don't get this product instead we get this product so there uh, should be some difference right now we have to understand that why this state is occurring that from here to here why it is going this is because on doing so it get back its aromaticity so by this uh, step it gets back its aromaticity it is very important so the driving force of this step is uh, the aromaticity of the compound which it lost in the first step and then it again gets back but here you can see there is no uh, such case of aromaticity so there is no such driving force for this step instead what can happen so instead what can happen is can see we have this and here we have a negative charge so this negative charge can attack here although it looks like a strange three member ring but you know kinetically three member ring formation is very much favorable although it is not arbitrarily favorable but kinetically this reaction is very much favorable because it is a three member ring one is five member another is three member so it is favorable now and another reason for this is that you can see here it is the neutral carbonyl bond right it is the neutral carbonyl bond or carbonyl group so here you have negative charge so compare these two cases here it, has, it is a neutral carbonyl group where here it is a imine with positive charge so this position is much more reactive than this and there is no uh, chance for getting back of aromaticity so that's why this attack is favored in, instead of uh, abstraction of proton from there, right? So now what can happen? So then this nitrogen lone pair will again push and you can see now the reverse reaction can happen that, that this bond will break but another possibility is if this bond breaks so what you will get? You will get a 6 member ring like this okay? So you will get this. Now after that, just if you do hydrolysis, this bond will undergo hydrolysis and you will get this product. So you can see aromaticity has a very uh, fast effect on the reactivity of the compounds and this is why we are told that uh, the reactions of aliphatic compounds, most of the reaction which uh, the aliphatic compound which undergoes uh, aromatic compounds can also undergo that reaction. but there are some exclusive reactions which uh, is which are possible only for aromatic compounds and not for aliphatic compounds. So the philosophy behind uh, that concept is that in case of aromatic aromatic compounds, there is a very high driving force when uh, this type of situation occurs that there is a chance of getting back of aromaticity, which is not applicable for aliphatic compounds. So this is the main concept of this question. I hope you understood. And uh, so thank you for watching and if you are new to this channel then subscribe my channel and best of luck.